how I deal with negative emotions. I'm going to break it down step by step. But let's set the record straight. You see, the highest level of achievement is, a, is the ability able to control yourself. That's the highest level. This time, because the bottom reality is, is that you cannot control, you can only control yourself, not outside events. So, if you uh, when you, you're motivated there and you lose your money, that's it. Uh, something happened and it out of control. That's what happened. You know, your your wife broke up, broke up with you tomorrow. You can't control that. She decided that she made a decision that she wants to break up. That's it. You know. Or your children started. Your children suddenly want to want to uh, leave you. Safe and again, so you cannot control. You can't control those things. The only thing you can control is yourself. This is how I come from. So it's very important for for any situation, the worst of adversity, to able to control yourself. You know, because when you're able to control yourself, then then you're able to uh, find a solution. You know, find a solution. Now, you might find a solution, you might not. You know, you're able to deal with the situation in the right way. If you can do something about it, then do something about it. If you can't do something about it, then you cannot do something about it. That's the reality of it. You understand? It's got to let go, and that's it, and move on. That is the that is the way I look at it from my knowledge and experience. You know, because my old self, I wasn't uh, in control. I'm an emotional person. Right, so my old self and I was very extremely emotional. You know, I'll be, uh, I will lose control uh, very easily. You know, through the words that people uh, are saying, whether it's a friend or a family member. You know, um, I will be triggered, triggered by it. And you should not be triggered by words. Yes, yeah, that so otherwise, if someone can trigger you through their words, then the person becomes your master. You know, so. Uh, I was uh, naturally very emotional since I was a, a kid, really. Do you understand? So it's all about, it's not a bad thing. It's that you're able to channel emotion correctly. Do you understand? To control it, to manage it. That's the best way to do it. If you're obviously going through life and able to uh, deal, deal with it the right way. So... Um, where you go. So that's the so um, that's the highest level of achievement, able to control your emotions. So the first thing that I do, yeah, when my emotions are very high, is uh, for whatever reason, is uh, focus on my uh, breath. So I pause, I pause briefly, you know, delay, delay gratification, and uh, follow to breathe in and out. Be conscious of where my breathing, my air going in through, out going through. This constant breathing. You know, then I'm stable and able to respond and respond the right way. You see that? If I don't do that, then I'm not able to respond the right way. If I go off by, if I don't like do my breathing, then obviously my breath becomes shallow. Your breath becomes shallow. You know, you feel it right here in this area right here. You feel it's stuck. You know, and uh, you, you're more likely going to you're going to respond. You're not going to feel logic. You'll be responding in a flash, and you are going to make mistakes. You make the situation ten times worse. So, pause. Focus on your breathing. Focus on your breathing. Let it in and out, and then you are um, you're ready to go. Is how I come from. They're able to deal with the situation in that way because you release the tension, that bad energy, you're, you're letting it go. You see, I come from. That's why your breath is very, very important because your breath is life. If you ain't got your breath, you're not, you're not alive, man. You're literally drowning. You understand? You're drowning underwater. So, very important to focus on your breath, first and foremost. On to the next point is um, uh, it's your perspective. You've got to shift your perspective. I've learned to that. So, if anything has uh, happened, you know, um, for example, uh, from from my uh, from my uh, life, and that is, um, I've learned to, uh, I learned I've learned to deal with criticism criticism better. You know, what I'm saying to you, before I was criticism, I would really get emotional and I get upset. I was a teenager, you know, but I've uh, I've uh, learned better. You know, I've learned through my mistakes. And realizing that someone gave me criticism, I've got to shift my perception and look, see um, 
uh, what's the positive in that situation? Okay, the person saying the criticism, constructive criticism, you know, to see, okay, now when the person says, oh, I'm not good at this, get that, get it, get that information, see, oh, is that person telling the truth or not? Oh, yeah, he is telling the truth. Let me get it and start learning how to apply it to become better at speaking. That's the way to do it. Whatever area, okay, I'm not organized. You, um, you wake up, the person, um, the, the person says, oh, okay, you're not good with uh, money. And so get that criticism and, and, wake, and work and become better version. So every criticism is a way, opportunity for you to grow. But if you're looking for a way that you're getting attacked now, why me, you know, and if you're going back and forth with a the person, then you've blocked the, block the road for you to grow as a human being. You understand? Because it's only so much you can see by yourself. Someone's got to see something that you're missing, that you're deficient in. The person can let you know so you can grow. That's how it works. So perspective is very important because they say there's good and the bad and the bad and the good. You understand? So shift your perspective. Then your potential is limitless. But if you if you if you are staying in your your own world, you know that's the, that you feel like you get attacked and way call it, and uh, the person's wrong straight away from the get go. Then you're not gonna go. You're not gonna go anywhere. So that's what, the first thing is uh, self awareness. You need to be you need to be aware of yourself, aware of your uh, thoughts, feelings, emotions. You need to be aware. You see uh, what what's going on. You know, so why 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 am I thinking this way? Oh, because of X Y Z. Your your st state of feeling, oh, because co it all works correlation to one. Or oh, you're feeling that you don't you're not feeling good if you uh, if you emotional. So why the, why the emotional uh, why they come from? Where, where did they come from? Boom. You see how come from? And then of course that will correlate to your action. You see, someone gives you. Cause of the criticism, you got you obviously go to your thought because everything starts with a thought, and you think about it. You know, who, who the fuck the face person is? You know, you got to talk to me that way, blah blah blah. blah. And then that goes to that goes to your emotion, and you get responded in a negative uh, in a negative way. That's that's what happens. You see that? That's not important to be self, be aware of yourself. But if you are if just responding, then if just is it just responding? No, aware of yourself. You see how I come from. So be aware of yourself and that, your force, your feelings, your action, you know, and you're able to, to uh, handle things uh, correctly. And they're able to give yourself the opportunity to grow. And my last point I want to make here is uh, what, I've, what I've learned, what has helped me is uh, practice mindfulness. So I meditate personally in the morning, in the morning and that, um, about managing with 10, 15 minutes, something like that. And even the same thing as well, 10 to 15 minutes, you know? And I just, I either go outside and do a passive meditation or I do, I sit on the chair. I sit on the chair, close my eyes and meditate, you know? Whatever is comfortable for you, you know? This can be like you do outside, meditate, you can sit down, cross-legged it, leg it and do it. Or you can sit there with your feet on the ground and do it. It's wherever you makes you comfortable to do it. The whole point is just close your eyes and be conscious of your breath going in and out. That's it. Simple as that. Is that and that you control you're able to because you take command of your mind, body, spirit. So yo, sit there. This is like you come command a dog. Come here, sit there, don't move. That's what telling you your mind, body, spirit. Sit there, move. You're not going to move. You can sit there for 10 to 15 minutes. Or how however long you prefer. Sit there and command your mind, command your mind, body, spirit, and go for in and out your breath. And then uh where you call it, that's it. The doubt, then you, you because you see you see when you sit down, you're meditating that you get some frustration. You feel like you, you feel like you've been sitting there for like uh, for an hour, a long time, sitting in one place, but it's not. When you look at you, when you look at the phone, when you look at time, you only been sitting there for five minutes. You see, I'm going for. So, is this command? That's a command of yourself, your emotions. You know, so your four process down, so everything down, and just be present in the moment. That is. That that is why it is so powerful. Do you Because there's no future, there's no past, there's only now. But that creates the past and the future. You see that? So and that gives you a serenity, control, calmness of mind by seeing the place and focus on the present moment. So that's practice mindfulness. So apply that to your daily routine. 
You yeah, start in the, in, the, in the morning and in the evening. And just do it throughout the day. It, the more you can do it, the better. You know, and whatever day you need it, but whatever the day you need it, you know, so so that's how to deal with, that's how I deal with the negative emotions. So this is a boy you value, just smash the red subscribe button. Comment down below. Um where you call, let me know anything that you need help with, anything you need help with and how to help improve yourself. And uh thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.